While U.S. natural gas futures rallied in part Tuesday on support from updated estimates showing a decline in production, prices in the physical market remained very weak. Daily heating demand may bottom out on Thursday before more than doubling heading into the weekend. Still, the combination of ongoing LNG outages at Cove Point and Sabine Pass, record gas production, and soft shoulder season demand is a recipe for gigantic storage builds. Based on estimates submitted to Bloomberg as of early Wednesday, expectations are centered around a triple-digit injection for this week's EIA storage report. The median of seven estimates was an injection of 125 billion cubic feet, with predicted injections ranging from 95 to 129 billion cubic feet. In the year earlier period, EIA recorded an injection of 114 billion cubic feet, while the five-year average is a build of 88 billion cubic feet. Meanwhile, looking at the latest weather outlook, the updated forecast showed seasonal to cool temperatures, blanketing the eastern half of the U.S. during the 11- to 15-day period. From a technical standpoint, this is a market that I think is a little oversold, and we are likely to get a short-term rebound. This rebound could be a good selling opportunity, especially if we went all the way to the 50-day moving average. The 50-day moving average is declining, and it should continue to be a potential resistance barrier. EBW Analytics Group highlighted the extremely weak prices in the physical market to close out last week. The bulls face a problem, however, in that they cannot seem to find their footing, and they need to do more than just prevent natural gas from selling off. If they cannot, a more substantial test of the $6.60 to $6.20 zone, even a drop to $5.75 to $5.50 is possible from here.